He has served as the Rector of the Quantitative Studies Division and Director of Public Opinion Studies Center at Dubai Consultancy Research and Media Center, the first national think tank at Dubai. He has worked as an economic consultant for a number of uh, units, including the Department of Development, Economic Development, Dubai Government, and also UNDP. Uh, Yasin is a fellow at the Royal Statistical Society at UK, and he also is a friend of APOR, WAPOR, and SOMAR, a member of the North Korea. So, the floor is yours. Thank you. If you sit, we use this one. Because, uh, I'll sit on this one. Just I want to thank FSE for this kind invitation. And also I'd uh, like to thank all of you for being with us today. Uh, it's better for me to start my presentation in short video. And actually, this short video summarizes my presentation. And after the video, you can leave. But <laughs> from the beginning, I want to ask one question. Have anybody seen this test? No. no. Anybody? If anybody seen this test, you can take a break. Okay, you can go and take a coffee break. <laughs> okay. Not ready yet. <laughs> Not ready. Sit. There's no coffee. Please. Okay. Uh, please concentrate in this review. And there's a question I want you to answer. Okay? How many passes does the team in white make? How many? Twelve. Twelve. Twenty. Twenty. Fifteen. Fifteen. Doctor, good. Other. All. All. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no. There's no, 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 no accurate answer until now. It is? Why should you... No, it is 13. Yes, you count to 13? Yes. But the question is not that. The answer is 13. Have you seen anything strange in the video? Yeah. Yes. They are good players. <laughs> ah, good. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> okay. Okay, let us see what's the strange thing. But did you see the moonwalking bear? <laughs> There's a time, there's other questions in the end. 
the same like first in the video. Uh, the first section is about goals, benefits, and rationale, and the methods and the approach. And in the third section, I will give you some examples of our methodology. Uh, my background, the background of the, 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 the methodology, now you have different media types. You have the, the newspaper and different language of the newspaper in, in the same country. Now, in our country we have Arabic, English, Urdu. Uh, we have also the TV, TV shows, you have the, sh uh, the talk shows. Uh, you have uh, nowadays the new media. Uh, the Twitter, the Facebook, the forums, all of these media types, it is there. But how can you unify, how can you get the information from all of them? How can you see the, 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 the moonwalking bear there? How can you get that? How can you get the, the, the issue of the, the community? How can you get the, the directly from that? Uh, our goals today to monitor, our goals of the, the, presentation, the, the methodology, to monitor and measure the local media content uh, as a source for the public opinion, to analyze local content and to determine the strength and also. Coming? Yeah. 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 Okay. Consistent data allows the analyst to evaluate public policy, such as solution and to protect responses. The uh, graphing indicator over time reveals trend useful as an early alerting system. Instead of waiting the survey and the process of the survey from designing of objective of budgeting, field survey, and, and then you spend six or the average at least between three to, to, to six months to get the result of the, the survey. And the information is there. Sometimes you cannot wait. If you are talking about the public policy, if you are talking about the people uh, requirement, the, the issues in the community, you cannot wait until the survey is being uh, resulted. But you need some alerting system. You need a direct information to direct information flow to you. Uh, evaluation of public opinion. Uh, can inform those planning uh, public policy. Uh, who's benefited from this methodology? Our methodology we developed actually in our uh, center. Uh, the leaders, usually the policy makers, and the youth themselves, because we have uh, gathered the information from their uh, medium, which is now it is the Instagram, it's Facebook, all of these things. We, we monitor what's their requirement there. And also the public benefit for being heard in the, uh, the, in the, in the government itself. Now our methodology, we will, as I mentioned, the, the newspaper, the TV show, program, and the radio, blogs, Twitter, all the social media, and we listening and scoring content. We call the, the any material coming from those media type content, media content. And this is just summarized what we're doing. Usually in the TV you have the live programs, people raise their issue, their, their uh, requirements, contact, uh, and sometimes they are uh, asking for uh, services, uh, comments in the, in the newspaper, and also the public comment. Sometimes you find uh, some website or newspaper that's open for comment, for public comment, people they can uh, put uh, some information there and opinion and local issues on forum, Facebook and Twitter. Uh, now the media content analysis. Uh, the public opinion trend are based in two things. The assessment of media content by diet and compound indicator and the classification of media content by media type, media group, media issue. Okay, now the, the model, you have the media content, which contains some public uh, issues or public requirement. This is being classified as a group. Then after you classify a group, you have 
sort of groups classified as an issue. And it's become as, as an issue. They yeah, cannot take single complaint and consider it as an issue. You have to take a complaint, different complaint, different from different media type. Then you can create a group of that complaint. And if you have different groups that are sharing with the same sector, it is in the education sector, then you can create uh, the issue, the issue in, the, in that sector, in the certain sector. The process, usually, of the, our methodology, collect opinion item from selected media, uh, record reference data for each item, assign a measure of impact and tool for each item. We created an indicator of the impact, problem impact of certain story which has been monitored and captured and could be entered to the uh, system. Um, we have also assigned multiple groups to an issue and maintain lookups, review measurements and classification for quality, rank order groups and issues based on measures, study data in various views for analysis, and write analysis of the rank group and issue. Then I have content, group, issue. Content one, linked with, with the relation with many groups, and many groups linked with one issue. Analysis of important findings. Now this is the automated system which we use that the collector or predictor start from here, entering the data, there's a form, we capture the information from the different media, and then there's a process of um, make some validation for the, the information from to some leaders, they assign some measures, then assign some uh, the tonality of the, 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 the media content, and so on. Until the end uh, with the recording. And this is kind of uh, from screen of the system. Now, uh, how do we build the public opinion trends? You know, I have a complaints every day from different sources. How can I build a public opinion trend for that? Without going and make survey. But the survey is very important. By the way, the surveys, when we do the survey, and every year we have the national survey by end of this uh, each year. And we validated in that survey the results which we usually get every day from the main issues of the people. So now we have uh, the impact. The impact is compound measures that consist of range of sub-indicator applicable to any media content integrated through a media analysis matrix. We developed also a matrix to, to assign a, a problem impact for each content. And we have the tool, it's a measurement of the uh, sentiment. Let us talk about the tool. We have the media tone index for the public engagement and the media tone index for the original media content. Maybe somebody will ask, okay, the tone, it is positive, negative, neutral, against whom? So whenever we have a media content, we make some evaluation. Is it criticizing the government for their services? Negative, positive, or neutral? Because this is very important later on in the aggregation Level for the report to get some measures about the service of the setting government. And also, uh, we make the analysis of the public engagement, the public comments, which is coming, we, we usually take uh, randomly, because sometimes you find 10,000 or uh, million comments in one story. You cannot capture all of them, but you can take some random uh, comments and see what's the uh, trend for the, the, the tone. So we have this sentiment called positive, negative, and neutral. Uh, the problem impact index is the most important uh, indicator in our methodology, because often that you can upgrade the issue of the uh, The problem impact indicator 
is a composite indicator that includes the four sub-indicators, population affected, uh, medium on the, uh, audiences, and MCI, media content item, presentation, and the public response. We have these four sub-indicators, as, as I mentioned, the people affected, the, the, the issue which being raised or which being mentored, the content, is it affecting the, the whole community or affecting minor or of the community? This you can judge in that. The media audience, the media audience usually is linked with the medium itself. The TV, the, if there's a newspaper, you will have to take it, the number of distribution of the newspaper itself. The Twitter, usually you take the, the followers, number of followers of the account. The hashtag, usually you take the number of uh, retweeting or, or writing or tweeting on this uh, hashtag. And the presentation, the presentation of the, the content itself. Is it coming in the front, with color, with all of these stuff? And the public response. Is there public response very huge in that uh, certain content or not? And then we can assign the... We can... Nobody will see this. Okay. Uh, it's scale of yeah. one to ten. Yes, it's scale one, but I want to say here the scale is one to ten. One is the weak, the problem you have, and the ten is very high. Uh, it depends on these four indicators. You have to take it in your consideration to assign the problem impact. We have this matrix, through this matrix, Okay. You see, it's... Hello? Hello, hello. Okay. Through this matrix, we have these four uh, indica sub-indicators. And for every indicator, there's certain percent, from zero to hundred percent. Now, our analysts bring the content and Put it here, map it here. If the population is affected very much, then we are working in this area. And also, the, present, the presentation, it's strong evidence in this, the presentation, colorful, it's becoming the first page, first page in the newspaper, first page in the, the forum, in the top, whatever. And also, you have the media audience, the, the, the medium itself, as I mentioned, is it highly demand from the people, and also the public response, is there any responses from the, the public. But now you can assign in which area this content. Is it in that, that area here, zero, one, or is it in nine, ten, or in the middle? Then we assign a figure. Now we quantify the content. All the content from different media type will take a figure. Take a number from here. Okay? After we assign the, the problem impact, then each item, each content, media content, will be classified uh, for groups. We, we, we make a group for each one, then each group is already linked with issue. We can create an issue. And sometimes, or most of the time, uh, each item linked with the government entity, and the government entity already linked with the, uh, the sector, certain sector. And this is classic, uh, summarized the classification. As you see here, we have the media content item. We have assigned a policy group. Usually the, the group is a subject. Subject. And you know the subject is coming in a certain period and then disappeared. But every time you have to create a new subject. As the people you see the monitoring the complaints, the public opinion coming. Then you create a major issue. 
And also we have a classification for government entity and the government sector. Here are some examples. And if you have, uh, usually we have a complaint in the, the price, raising in the price. Sometimes they say, you know, people, there's a food stuff price increase. Uh, okay. And sometimes they said the, the school fees increase. But all of these become under media called uh, control of the, the food and the services as a group. And we created an issue for that. It's the cost of living. The cost of living, there's an issue in, in, in UAE. Uh, sometimes you have some complaints or contents coming uh, mm -hmm. from the government service mm -hmm. itself. They criticize the service of certain departments in the way. Uh, we created a group called Efficiency of the Government Performance. And this has become as an issue. Okay. Uh, also, the education issue is very important in the way um, we monitored many uh, complaints about the curriculum, about the quality of the teacher, quality of the education itself. Uh, also, created the groups, many groups. Then we compared it to issue about the education system itself and reform. This is kind of analysis we get it after certain period. You, you can take the, the, the information from the system daily base or weekly base, but it will not give you that much indicator, but give you some alerting. But this is a quarterly base. You can see what's the, the, the big issues you have. <coughs> Open that you can report for the decision maker that there's an uh, elective things in that issue. They have to take further uh, studies or attention for that uh, certain issues. Here you can also uh, meet a group according to the, 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 the public impact. You can get the tonality, the tonality of the, the content you uh, usually monitor. And you can see, is it uh, negative or positive? And also the, the, the public comments here, you can also monitor, is it negative, positive, or neutral? The media tone itself, you can also monitor. If you have uh, usually uh, the, the newspaper, you usually uh, criticize the government, you can decide for that. See what's the problem with them. Uh, this is for the government. You can see, you can see the tonality of the government from uh, two, 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 two things: from the public or from the content, media content itself. Uh, the conclusion uh, of my presentation today: monitoring media systematically is to report public opinion trends in issues facing the local community and suggest appropriate policy recommendations. Our methodology provides an early warning system for the most pressing community issue, suggestions, solutions, and predicting uh, opinion and attitude. That's their pilots uh, in planning their community public policy. And also it enables the, the decision maker to make a preventive action, uh, especially when we have some uh, alerting system. Uh, this is what I have. Uh, you know, the, 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 the public issue is very important in our area. Before, usually the government doesn't, didn't listen to the people. And this is one way to, to know what the people there think, what's the main issue, what's their requirement. And to avoid what happened in the first country, in the Arab Spring, if you remember, in Tunisia, and he said, in last day, in his regime, now I understand, I understood you, in last day. And this should be in the first day, not in the last day in his regime. And you know what's happened in, in Tunisia. Okay. 
That's it. But before I finish, I have other survey for you. Okay? Now we have two rooms, and every room we have its label. Every room there's a label written there. And this is the question. Can you figure out which room contains the treasure? There's a treasure in one room of the school. Okay? And this is the what are the answers? A, the treasure is the red room, B, the treasure is on the green room. See, there is no enough information to determine the answer. Which one you choose? It's divided between both. No, it's in the <laughs> B. B. Okay, we we'll, we'll say A. One? Mm -hmm. One. Not the last one. No, A. Answer A. One. B. <laughs> C. And the other. <laughs> you don't have the answer? Okay, why A? Not the last one. You choose one. Two. No, but you see, uh, yeah, we just uh, the, the, the label there. What's yeah. the right for you? Actually, there is no enough information, but to choose one of these, I love this one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> B. I say A. A. It's like 50 50. Right? 50, 50. Yeah, I, I say C. 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 I said C. You Okay. This questionnaire actually is for the policy maker. And we can talk to them that the question is can you figure out which room contains the trigger? And the answer, the accurate answer is C. Because the question is not where is the trigger? The question is can you figure out? But usually the decision maker, they have to take information, full information before they decide, before they take a decision. They have to base their decision in full information, not in probability, it's 50-50. That is usually we conduct it in the decision maker. Okay, uh, see it's good. <laughs> okay, in this side, good, okay. Thank you very much, Jessica. Um, we uh, have plenty of time to get some questions, maybe some quizzes from the audience now. To <laughs> <laughs> Let's begin with uh, Darwish. Uh, thank you, Dr. Uh, it was very interesting, uh, especially coming from the same area. Well, we have a program, actually, I think it's you also have in, in UAE, a very similar program, and then Qatar is called Good Morning. It's on radio that it starts at 9, 7, 30 in the morning and goes all the way to 9. And uh, when you listen to that, it's the people who call in are complainers. So, for example, people said, well, yesterday I went to the emergency at the Hamad General Hospital and then I had to wait for two hours before actually I was seen by a doctor. And then another guy said, well, I went actually today to the supermarket and then the price, uh, price of fish is too high. And then you have all these complainers coming in. Now, I always say that actually they are not representative. They are just the guy actually who goes to the hospital and didn't get a, a good service. It probably was one of 500. And we don't know whether the other 499 equally had the same experience or better experience or worse. So I think my idea is uh, we should also have a way to capture the good, the people actually who are also have normally people who have a good experience, don't report it, because that is their expectation. When you go to a hospital, you really expect people to receive you well, to treat you well. So if you do that, they are doing their job, you are happy, you go home, don't say anything about it. Now if you don't do that, then that's you complain. So my idea is how we can capture actually the people, the silent majority, who simply do not go to do that, do not actually complain about the education system, that they are happy because this is the, the need their expectation. So is there a way? Because what, from my experience, people actually who go on the Twitter, who actually go into this program, are actually on the negative side. And the, the, the majority who are actually on the other side are, are 
and that is why I think savings actually give you a more balanced uh, thing. Thank you. Uh, Victor, you are right. You mentioned that the negative attitude, usually people uh, raise it in the, the, the media, but the positive, they are weak because they are satisfied. With. But, the, the, you know, when somebody goes to the doctor, the doctor asks for different tests, for blood tests, for x-ray, MRI, different tests. And this is, he cannot judge in one. Uh, my methodology here is not give you the solution for everything or the, the satisfaction level of the, the community. It's give you at least the pulse of the community. What's kind of issue raising now, existing now. And you can take further step. I'm not asking you to go and direct to fix or to reform the education. No, but give you some alerting for the decision maker to, to start investigate more in the South. Well, okay. Yes. <coughs> Good. Yes. Uh, thank you. A very interesting method, uh, and I'm generally on your side. However, uh, I would like to uh, ask if you tr tried to validate uh, your findings with a real uh, public opinion survey to confirm that what uh, you're measuring is true. Because there may be several issues. Uh, one thing I I, I know nothing about uh, public trust in the media uh, in, in your country. Maybe they do trust, maybe they don't. Then I don't know, for instance, if uh, your list of media was exhausted, uh, or maybe there are some important media that were uh, for some reason omitted. The second, a uh, third, I don't know if uh, you only included the local, uh, media, or maybe there are also some influential foreign media that people may uh, also uh, watch or listen to uh, or read, and uh, this may also influence their opinion. So there may be some important issues that are missed out in your survey. I'm not saying this is the case, but I'm saying that if you validated your uh, findings with public opinion survey, that would make your study even stronger. Good mention to important points. The first one, from beginning, I said that we conducted conducting a yearly survey every year to validate our results in, the, in, in, in the, uh, our methodology here. We ranked usually the outcome uh, of our methodology, we ranked the top 10 issues. And we asked the same top each time, 10, 10 issues in which we got it from the methodology and everything in our uh, survey. But this is a validation uh, process which we the, the second point regarding the international media. You are right, uh, but our focus is a local issue. I'm not talking about political issue. The political issue is other uh, things in it. Here you are talking about the people, their uh, issue in their daily life. Uh, you, you should exclude, not should, but usually you exclude the, the international uh, media for that. One. Yes, one. Sure. Uh, thank you for a very interesting talk. Uh, we have similar data in Spain uh, also, but uh, we always talk about uh, public, public opinion and published opinion. And they are quite different. Uh, I'm sure you. sure you know that. Uh, for one thing, uh, regarding what uh, Edward just said, uh, how many media, I mean, do you have? Do you have all the printed newspapers? And how about radio stations? And how about TV channels? So do you have all the media in your analysis or only a sample of media? And is it mainly based on printed or what? Yes. Or TV? Now, the second part relates to garbage uh, intervention. Uh, do you, uh, do you uh, analyze the uh, editorials or the what you would call informative news or the uh, reaction of people, I mean intervention of people on those media, that is letters to the editor or uh, uh, talk shows and things of that kind? Because it makes a great difference. Uh, then, uh, do you have any information about whether, to, uh, what's the interest or the dependence or the relationship of each media 
with a, a basic interest, that is economic interest on one side, political interest, uh, are there different opinions or different political ideologies behind each of those media. So, uh, in a sense, I mean, they, they tell you something, but uh, you must, uh, uh, I mean, it, it, to me, it is difficult to know what uh, the opinions represent. I mean, do they represent the interest of banks, or the interest of big corporations, or the interest of uh, middle business, or the interest of citizens? I mean, uh, I mean, if you have all that information, you can really evaluate it. But if you don't, then you don't know <coughs> whose opinions you are really analyzing. That would be my main question. And certainly, as my other colleagues have said, probably the, the validation would be to compare that with public opinion, that is, with service. Thank you, Thank you. Uh, Actually, the, the medium which we covered in our sample, it is for the newspaper or the newspaper, or published newspaper. You know, you eat small, not that big. We have three newspapers in Arabic, we have three newspapers in English. And we don't have classified it. Each newspaper, so there's a economic side, there's a social side, but it is the same. Are there governmental papers? Some of them governmental papers, but we are not uh, monitoring the, the features or the press releases from the government. What we have monitored, the economists, usually they are talking about the public interest. And this is what we... But any press release from the government, no, we don't capture it. We don't consider as a public opinion content at all. Uh, this is the first point. The regarding the reputation, as you said, yes, we agree, and we've done that for the, 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 every year. We validate all the, the findings in our methodology by the, the survey itself. Uh, the last point about yeah, whose opinions, uh, the editorials or yeah. uh, public the, participation? Yes, this is usually the, the citizen interest. Yeah, we listen for the, the TV uh, for this morning programs. The people complain for different services. But this is kind of content we captured in our methodology. There was a question about the Thank you very much uh, for an overview of your methodology. I have a couple of technical questions. Um, first of all, you said that your system is automatic. I mean, it gathers a lot of information that it then assigns certain weights, and then the crucial thing is identify the tone of the judgment or a saying. And the question is about how how you really can do this. I mean, if the statement is completely clear, like the government is bad, right? It's easy to do. But does it recognize that a sort of sarcasm or an irony, let's say if I tweet the hashtag, oh, the government of Moscow introduced uh, payments for parkings, bravo, or it's a sarcasm and it's negative, it has a negative tone, but the straightforward evaluation will not reveal this. And the question is how you tackle this issue. And my second question is about if you take into account that certain targets can be overhyped or um, censored in a certain way. Um, in the book called Freakonomics, there is a case when um, one journalist wrote about the case when an animal bites someone. And if you, looked, uh, if you have looked at the statistics, there was nothing and there are no changes comparing to the other years when the same animals bite some other people. It was like four cases per year. But one journalist just found this case and the editors of this new paper, they decided, oh, that's very nice. And they started to distribute this story along the media and everyone found it very important. And the story became very highly cited, although the issue was not that crucial, probably. So, these are both of the questions. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your question. Uh, actually, the automated uh, system which we have, it's not automated too. And now we find from the shelf, uh, you have Topsy in the, the, the Twitter, 
they can make or uh, can review the sentimentations automatically, plus, minus, just they have some certain words and they judge for that. If there's no any criticized words, they judge it is negative. Uh, our community is signed by our analyst. They read and they can sign is it negative or positive or neutral. The automated words, I mean the, the system as at all, when you enter the data, only entering the data and the grouping and classify uh, by issues. This is uh, what we have. Mm -hmm. uh, the second point, when you have a small issue and it's being raised in the media, okay, never mind, I, as I, I, I mentioned, it's alerting system. Okay, it will not give me a final decision for the decision maker to take an action. It's give an alert for them. There's an issue here. If it's minor, that's, that's, that's okay. But we don't want to close it, then we have a big issue and you ignore it. Uh, this is the way. Yes. I mean, uh, you probably in, in uh, I speak loud. Um, maybe in, in every day there are so many issues being raised. Some of them repeated, some of them just one shot and then disappeared. And you obviously don't want to raise everything and let and that to the policy makers, otherwise policy makers would be crazy. <laughs> So at what stage, I mean, what are the criteria where you decide that this is really worth pointing out to the policy maker that, well, this is a red flag here? Yeah. Usually the issue is being raised when it's spreading over different media types. It's not coming from the single. Oh, okay. And for set maybe two, three days, two, three weeks, okay. then you can take it as an issue. And this is very important in Twitter. Twitter usually they created a hashtag for certain issues. The hashtag life cycle, if it's continuing for two, three weeks, it is an issue, really an issue. But if it just uh, appear and disappear, that would be my issue. Well, I want to thank again. Uh, there is a chance for one last question. Just follow, follow yes. up to that, to that idea, because I think, um, just want to check. Because there are certain countries, in Russia at least, there are certain communities that are also doing that for the voluntary purpose. For example, the people doing ecology, ecological studies, they are doing human rights or the other events, or like best in blogs and certain other. So other, uh, the service you're doing are only professional, funded, and uh, very heavily stuffed. So is there any community initiatives to do this work for themselves and raise and analyze and, uh, you know, drop it out like on community initiatives? Or you're the only ones? <laughs> I agree, I think this is yes, this is an initiative uh, from us as a private company, as a private think tank, as a private, the first national think tank in Europe. Uh, you know, the public uh, interest for us is the priority for anything else. Uh, this is kind of bridging between the community and between the administration, between the decision makers. Thank you again to Darwish and Jesse for a wonderful um, exposition of what they do in their countries. We benefit from the methodologies from the conference and thank you all for coming to this organization. Keep enjoying the rest of the day and the conferences and I'm sure Tatiana is not in front of me because she has an important message. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs>